Imagine exploring a mysterious cave and coming across a find that amazes the whole world. That's exactly what happened to a group of adventurers, and we don't want to deprive you of their amazing story. In this video, we'll uncover the mysterious secrets that lie deep within the hidden cave worlds, and you'll learn what sensational discoveries have already been made. So strap in and join us on a captivating journey into the dark, where your curiosity and exploratory spirit will be sorely tested. The Dead Axe Murderer The year is 1916 when Joseph Henry Loveless murders his sleeping wife Agnes with a hatchet. And although Joseph was promptly arrested as a result, he found himself at large just a few days later. Officially, the killer managed to break out of St. Anthony Prison in Idaho by cutting the bars of his cell. However, it was rumored even then that Joseph had very likely received help from the outside. Be that as it may, from then on there was no trace of the axe murderer, and it appeared that he had indeed managed to escape. However, in 1979, a family was to make a gruesome discovery in the Buffalo Cave near the town of Dubois. A headless torso that someone had tied up in a canvas sack, and although a hand, an arm, and both legs were recovered from the cave in subsequent years, it would take until 2019 before the dead man's identity was finally deciphered. One DNA test from Loveless's 87-year-old grandson later, it was determined that these were indeed the bones of the escaped killer. After all this time, however, we can only speculate about the exact circumstances of Joseph Loveless's death. All that is certain is that his body was dismembered with several sharp tools. Some researchers believe it is possible that the murder was the work of Agnes's family. The Cave of Horror What officially goes by the name Nahal Hever Cave is also known among archaeologists as the Cave of Horror. But what's the deal with this eerie nickname? Located in the Judean desert in Israel, this site made headlines for housing countless skeletons of Jewish refugees from the time of the Bar Kokhba uprising. Thus, between the years of 132 and 136, the Jewish inhabitants revolted against the Roman foreign rulers, and although the Romans initially suffered heavy losses, the revolt ended with the killing and enslavement of most of the population. Thus, in the 1960s, the skeletons of 40 men, women, and children were also recovered from the Cave of Horrors. Furthermore, the researchers also came across other significant artifacts here, including fragments of letters, coins, and copies of biblical texts. But that's not all. In 2021, experts discovered a 6,000-year-old remains of a partially mummified girl in the cave. The child, aged between 6 and 12, had once been covered with a cloth and laid to rest in a shallow pit. In the same breath, the forensic experts managed to find another big hit. Together with the grave, they discovered some 2,000-year-old fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls. These were Greek translations of the books of Zechariah and Nahum. Shark from the Prehistoric Times if we turn back the wheel of time 330 million years, we end up in the era when Cyvotis stritus made the oceans unsafe. These prehistoric sharks reached body lengths of up to 9 meters and were among the top predators of the underwater world at the time. And a few years ago, researchers in Mammoth Cave National Park were lucky enough to uncover remains of such a prehistoric shark. Located in the state of Kentucky, the enormous Mammoth Cave, with an extension of over 675 meters, is the largest cave in the world. After the experts had tracked down the fossilized teeth and cartilage of the prehistoric fish here, they were completely overwhelmed. So the examination of the jaw shape alone can help find out more about the way of life of this species, and to classify it more precisely, in the superordinate shark family tree. The Cannibal Cave It's a realization that is both disconcerting and disturbing. 14,700 years ago, 
our ancestors ate other people. The gruesome finds recorded in Goff's Cave in the English county of Somerset leave no doubt about this. For example, experts recovered several human remains in the cave, including a teenager and a three-year-old toddler, that showed clear signs of cannibalism. While many bones had been nibbled and chewed and possessed cut marks, three skulls were even said to have been carefully fashioned into vessels. Now, one might think that, as a result of a severe famine, the inhabitants of Goff's cave at the time knew no other way to help themselves than to pounce on their fellow species. But this is not true. Cannibalism was not practiced out of desperation, but as a part of a ritual. For in fact, bones of horses, deer, chickens, and hares were also to be found in the cave which is why the food supply must have been anything but scarce. And also, the conscientious processing of the human remains indicates that the prehistoric cannibalism was not merely due to the satisfaction of hunger. A scientific analysis showed how conscientiously the skulls were prepared. According to this, shortly after death, the skulls were carefully freed from soft parts such as the tongue, eyes, and lips. After the subsequent removal of the facial bones and the base of the skull, the remaining remains were shaped into shells. Nowadays, it is not easy to reconstruct the reasons for this bizarre practice. However, since the skeleton showed no signs of violent impact, some experts speculate that the people were eaten only after their natural deaths, possibly to honor the deceased. Intoxicated Cave Visitors Experts have debated for several decades what role mind-expanding substances played in the creation of cave paintings. A depiction immortalized hundreds of years ago on the walls of California's Pinwheel Cave is now expected to help shed some light on the historical mystery. Researchers agree that the painting depicts a hallucinogenic detura. What's more, not far from the painting, the experts also came across some fiber remains of the same plant. In detail, we are dealing here with the first known evidence of the consumption of a hallucinogen at a rock art site. But do these discoveries and findings mean that the cave artists of the time were necessarily high? Well, not necessarily, because in fact, the effect of Datura is described as exceedingly extreme. Those who consume the psychoactive substances henceforth find themselves in a trance-like state that lacks any sense of time. Very real hallucinations and severe anxiety can also accompany the intoxication. In view of this, it seems unlikely to scientists that the artists were under the influence of this debilitating effect when they produced their works. Nonetheless, the cave probably served as a place for ritual group ceremonies in which the detura was consumed. Furthermore, hunting tools, bone remains, and implements testify to the fact that the site was used not only for intoxicating gatherings, but also for other purposes. The Crone Shortly after two hikers decided to leave the official trails in the New York Catskill Mountains, they unexpectedly found themselves at the entrance of a small cave. Inside the natural cavity, the men then came across something that made their blood run cold. A bizarre little wooden figure that someone had driven a rope around its neck and six small nails into its head. In the end, however, curiosity was stronger than fear, which is why the hikers took the eerie object home with them without further ado. But soon after, some strange occurrences are said to have happened in their house. From muddy footprints, to the acrid smell of stagnant pond water, to an incident that made the hikers regret their decision. Thus, on the seventh day after the discovery, a frightening shadowy figure appeared in the living room, sitting huddled in a corner, staring at the men with its blood-red eyes. Henceforth, the mysterious creature was christened the Crone. After the men gave the wooden figure to a museum of paranormal and occult, the disturbing events also stopped with a thud. The Hobbit Cave The Liangbua Cave on the Indonesian island of Flores 
or the home of the prehistoric hobbits. Thus, in 2003, the first remains of the species Homo floresiensis were discovered here, which were significantly smaller than our direct ancestors. In the context of the first description, the age of the found bones were at first estimated at 18,000 years, which would have meant that modern humans and Homo floresiensis would have inevitably run over each other. However, more recent research indicates that the fossils were at least 60,000 years old. According to our current knowledge, Homo sapiens was not yet resident in the region at the time. Furthermore, we know that the first find embodies the remains of a woman about 30 years old, who was less than a meter tall and weighed a maximum of 29 kilos. Further discoveries show that this was by no means an individual anomaly, but correspond to the average characteristics of this species. Compared to humans, Homo floresiensis possessed unusually large and flat feet, which is probably why it moved only very leisurely. Furthermore, this species was equipped with disappropriately long arms. Especially exciting, if one follows the myths of the natives, Homo floresiensis might have actually managed to survive until the 19th century. Thus, the natives told the European researchers about the people of the so-called Ebugogo, whom their ancestors had still met. It would have been about creatures which were as small as children, and the exception of the face completely hairy. Among themselves, the Ebugogo communicated in an incomprehensible mumbling. However, they also parroted what the people told them. The last Ebugogo is said to have disappeared shortly before the colonization of the island by the Dutch. So guys, and now it's time for your opinion. Which find has captivated you the most? Do you know of any other exciting cave discoveries that didn't make it into today's video? Get busy and tell us about it in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a subscription so you never miss another one of our videos. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.